are back in Nottingham's rescue rooms and stealth for another edition of This Is Live, showcasing Nottingham's best musical talent. And this week we've got a roots and dub artist and his band. Please welcome Lenroy Geest. <laughs> So your website describes you as the godfather of bass. <laughs> so how early on did you, did you pick up the bass? Uh, from when I was at school. I was at school, yeah. What, was it school that sort of introduced you to it then? No, it was my very good friend that introduced me to the guitar. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. That's so, playing with us today as well, so. Oh, right, really? Yeah, yeah. So you've been together for ages then? Yeah, ages, yeah. Um, and you're in a successful 80s um, British reggae band, The Naturalites. Yeah. Um, how did you get involved with that initially? It was a Nottingham band, wasn't it's it? It was a Nottingham band, yeah. There's, um, there's a lot of Nottingham bands around at that time. And Naturalites was a vocal trio, but they needed a band of musicians to come together. So there was, each musician was handpicked to do the job. Really? How did they find you then? Um, it was all around, playing, playing different venues. So they probably spotted you at a gig yeah. or something? Yeah. Wow. There were great reggae bands that were around in those days. Are they still together? Are you still kind of doing gigs now? Or? Yeah, we're not allowed to do back together now, so we're performing with them now. So you're, still, you're kind of back travelling about a bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. How far did you go on tours? Because I know you toured all over the place, so how far did you travel? Um, well, for instance, we, the guys who toured with Maccabee, we've toured the world with Maccabee. Right. We've been all over the place. It's wow. Been great. That's been amazing. How many years did you did you travel about for then? Um, with Maccabee for about five and a half years. Really? Yeah. Do you like it? Is that kind of, kind of suit you? Oh, it's you? great, it's great. Suit, well, you suit the, the well, lifestyle. Then I needed to have some time out as well. So. Yeah, I guess after a while, there's yeah. only so much kind of being away from home you can, you can do. Yeah. You've always lived in Nottingham then? Yeah. I know obviously you've toured around, but you've, yeah. all, you've still always yeah, stuck around. Yeah, we've all lived in Nottingham, yeah. And you, and you sort of all came back here after yeah. the touring and stuff. Yeah. What, what kind of draws you to it? How come you, do you, do you like the music scene here? Or just because it feels like home or? Well, Nottingham, we, Nottingham's always had a great music scene, especially when we were around these reggae bands, but we never had that exposure. Like yeah. The other cities did have, like your Sheffields and your Manchesters and your <laughs> So, um, with your own music, obviously you're in the natural lights, did, how early on did you start writing your own tracks? Is that kind of a recent thing or have you been doing it for a while? I just got, I just came to a point where I thought, let me just do my own stuff. Yeah. You know, I, had, I had these ideas floating around, but I just wanted to like, do it for myself now. Yeah. And then, now that's out of the way, get back to working with natural lights and get that back on the road as well. Oh really? So you've got less time for your kind of own stuff now? Well, it's just a project anyway, I'm not actually an out and out solo artist, you know, just, it's just a solo project working with, the, with the great musicians. Yeah. So is it you that kind of, are you putting the music together yourself or yeah. do you collaborate with the rest of the band? I put like? the music 
to get himself and then get the band to put in certain touches. Yeah, say, and add their bit. Yeah. What's been your most memorable gig so far? Obviously you must have you must have done some pretty cool gigs all over the place. Like can you think of one that really stands out as a favourite? Um, Nottingham's always a great place to come back and play. Yeah. Excellent. When we used to play the rock and reggae. Yeah. Back, that was always a great place to play. But um, there's been great great venues all over Europe and the world. And what sort of makes a good gig for you? Is it is it the crowd reaction? Or is it just how you feel on stage at the time? How we feel on stage, how we play and then the crowd's reaction. Yeah. The crowd's yeah. reaction's always special. So remember, if you're from Nottingham and you write and perform your own music and you'd like to be on This Is Live, then send me an email to zoe.kirk at nottinghameveningpost.co.uk. And thanks again to Lenroy Geest. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much.